I'm convinced that springtime is the most difficult season of the year to control weeds in the lawn and one of the most difficult seasons for lawn care in general. At least that's true for us with warm season grasses in my opinion. In this video, I want to show you four of our main warm season grasses, Centipede, St. Augustine, Bermuda, and Zoysia, and show you what they're looking like in the spring, some of the challenges you're facing, and maybe some tips to help your lawn look better sooner than later. Maybe 70% green, especially out in the distance there. The dog's excited about it. Grass has an unbelievable ability to recover. Bermuda grass, green, except for orange where they've got the utilities being marked or something like that. Now look at this. I mean, is that not exactly perfect. So why is grass difficult to make look good in the springtime? Well, not always is it, but there's a few challenges that we're facing and I've noticed especially this year. Well, one, for our warm season grasses, a lot of times they've been dormant or mostly dormant or partially dormant depending on where you live. And they're trying to turn green in the spring. We're starting to get some warmer weather. But you know what happens? We still end up getting some cool nights. So it'll get up to 75 and then next week it drops down to 32 and then it warms back up to 84 and then you get down to 40 you know so it's just very confusing for the grass because of the inconsistency in the temperature now personally I'm not ready for it to be consistently 90 degrees but for many of the warm season grasses hot with plenty of water is the ideal growing conditions but for many of our warm season grasses hot weather with plenty of water is going to be a lot better growing conditions than what we experience in the springtime so let's start off with St. Augustine let me show you this St. Augustine yard I'm I'm near Birmingham, Alabama. We're a little bit, we're kind of toward the northern end of where St. Augustine is going to make it. We don't have a lot in our area, but you can see what this one looks like. And this is kind of typical, I would say, for right now. Now, we got down to single digits this winter, and I was a little bit nervous about the St. Augustine, but you see this one came back fine. But you can see what it looks like as we take a closer look. I mean, it is a lot of green in there, but I wouldn't necessarily call that fully green. So you may say, Jason, so what's the big deal? It's not fully green yet well the tricky part is in this situation especially on the centipede or St. Augustine lawn if I come in here and just blanket it with a herbicide I could seriously delay the green up on this lawn for the sake of knocking out a few weeds so what I try to encourage people to do particularly with the centipede St. Augustine is hey let's not go in here and blanket a herbicide until it's fully green or you can try it when it's fully dormant but I've got some thoughts on that too because I've not always worked out for the best either. So what you might do in this situation, or what we do typically in the spring on these Centipede and St. Augustine yards, we'll use a very low nitrogen fertilizer, start to put some nutrients back in the soil. And if anything, I might walk around and spot treat a few weeds. Now I do blanket spray them early in the year, like in January, February time frame. But I want to talk to you about what products to use for that. So right now, during the spring, when they're still not fully green, I might do a little bit of spot treating weeds, but I'm mostly uh, putting this low nitrogen fertilizer out, which is the one I'm using is like a 2-2-14 blend. Recover from a long, stressful winter for the grass and not do anything to set it back as it's trying to come out of dormancy. And with a month more of nice, warm weather, this thing's going to look a lot different, at which point you could be a little bit more aggressive on your weed control if you needed to at that point and also put a higher nitrogen fertilizer on it so here's your st augustine not bad not great it just is what it is springtime st augustine in alabama obviously if you live in a warmer climate it may look a lot different than this and it may already be fully green and what about zoysia here's a patch of zoysia i want to show you in this particular lawn and this is a wider blade zoysia like a, a meyer zoysia or z52 or whatever there's different varieties and you can see it also it looks like about 50 percent green up i've personally seen some zoysias like some uh, emerald zoysia some that grow really really thick and they're left super thick over the winter which is not a bad idea but those uh, seem like have very little green in there and i would think in those situations if you can to go ahead and mow it and allow some of that sunlight to get down to the roots and start warming it can help you get a little bit earlier green up now my bermuda and zoysia yards i'm not as concerned on uh, damaging them during transition you may still delay the green up a little bit but what i'm doing to those lawns is i'll do a blanket pre-emergent pre and post-emergent early in the year then i'll come back about march and i'll put some fertilizer down slow release fertilizer that will start releasing the nutrients 
moisture in the soil once the weather starts warming up. So that helps it with the green up process, but still much more important than that as far as it greening up is gonna be the weather itself. I mean, you can put all the fertilizer you want on there and if it's still cold, it's not gonna green up fast. And that can vary year to year, which can be frustrating and a little bit difficult for people to understand why is my yard not green right now? A lot of times it just has to do with the weather. And then on Doja and Bermuda yards, when it gets into late April, May, I'm blanking it again with another round of pre and post emerging. I'm using Spectacle Flow, which is kind of expensive product, but it really helps with those summer weeds. And the post emerging can help knock out some of those existing cool season weeds that are still hanging around, or maybe even some warm season weeds that started to germinate. I can take care of those with this application, which is very helpful. When I used Spectacle last year on my Bermuda and Zoysia yards in April on into May, it did wonders for weeds like Spurge, Chamber Bitter, Kalinga, things like that were much less prevalent in the yard moving into the summer. And again, on a Bermuda Zoysia yard, I'm not nearly as concerned about causing delayed green up during transition. Now, I don't spray spectacle on the Centipede and St. Augustine yards during this time frame. With these grass types, mowing almost always helps with your spring green up. I typically will mow my yard at least once in March, even if it doesn't look like it needs it. And typically I'll have one of the first ones to green up in the spring. Let me show you an example of some more Zoysia lawns. So this is an emerald zoysia, more of a fine blade zoysia, and you can see it it may not even be 50% green at this point in time, but zoysia just has an exceptional ability to choke out weeds. So this one has been treated and had pre-emerging all that, so it has virtually no weeds. Where you look at this one, uh, it doesn't look like it's been on a treatment program, and there are some weeds scattered out through here, but not that many compared to other types of grasses that haven't been treated. It's not green yet, and we're at the time of this video in late April. Now, as I look at this one over here in the distance, it looks like it has already been mowed, and I think because of that it probably has a little bit more green you know 50 percent maybe a little bit more compared to this which i believe is the same kind of grass it hasn't been mowed this one i believe has been mowed just by looking at them and i think it's made a difference all right a couple more zoysias this one looks like it may be 40 percent green and then i turn around and see this one which is a wider blade zoysia i'm gonna say it's closer to maybe 70 percent green especially out in the distance there the dog's excited about it yeah uh, i think if i notice a difference i think this one not only has been mowed but i think they mowed it kind of short which again allows that sunlight to get down the roots and start warming it up so this is one of the better ones i've seen at this point in the year it's not necessarily a race to who can green up the fastest same time i don't mind being brown till june now besides just showing you grass types i am going to get to some of the reasons why lawn care in the spring can be troublesome but let me show you a bermuda yard before we do that now look at this i mean is that not exactly perfect but it's getting there i mean i'm gonna say that's like 95 percent green there's a few little patches that hadn't quite greened up just yet but this looks great now why is this looking great and the others not well it's been mowed it's been mowed fairly short bermuda tends to green up faster than zoysia and it's looking like a yard supposed to look now i think it, it'll get a, a level of darker green with fertilizer warmer weather it's not at its peak level of greenness but there's not a lot of dormant grass left in this particular lawn look across the street similar situation bermuda grass green except for orange where they've got the utilities being marked or something like that but i mean in general it's maybe not quite as green as the one across the street but very similar results mowing it and mowing it short definitely helps now, i still want to show you a centipede yard but i want to allude to one of the problems when it comes to weed control in the spring i want to show you a particular weed that can be frustrating so you look at this yard from a distance it looks nearly perfect but what i can see as i get closer is there's this weed right here and here's another one and if I look over here, here's another one. And there's another one. It's called American burnweed. It can seemingly pop up overnight and it germinates in the thatch of the grass, so it's believed. And so the pre emergent doesn't do a great job on getting ahead of it. Now, I have found if I spray Spectacle Flow in the fall, it does help with the burnweed, but this particular yard had Spectacle Flow sprayed on it in the fall and you're still seeing some burnweed. Fortunately, it's very easy to kill with any kind of broadleaf herbicide. I'm going to spray it today and it'll probably take care of it. But it, it's weeds like that that pop up that even when just mowing the lawn would make it look so much better but that's the thing in the springtime people are not mowing their grass 
past that frequently sometimes not mowing it at all even until may and if they're mowing in april maybe it's very infrequent and these weeds pop up they can be easily taken care of but it makes it where it looks bad in the yard where if the yard was being mowed frequently it wouldn't be a big deal at all so that's frustrating from a weed control perspective now hey other seasons have frustrating times with weeds you got poa annual you got nut sedge some of these things that are also frustrating i'm just talking specifically about these frustrations we're dealing with in the springtime what about centipede yards i'm going to show you an example of one and tell you a little story about it all right this is centipede you look at it and there's a little bit of brown in here but you look out in the distance there it's fairly green i'm gonna call this 80 percent green the tricky thing about centipede is i know it's gonna have a few spring weeds see there's a weed and you know you look at it from a distance it looks fine but there's some weeds in here the thing is if it's not fully green it's risky to come in here and spray with a herbicide because you end up seriously delaying the, the green up of the yard and sometimes even turning the yard yellow now once it's green i come in with a product like change up or something and i'll really knock out the broadleaf weeds and i think sometimes even spraying it while it's still dormant may delay the green up so i'm just going to be very hesitant on the centipede yards one product that is typically not going to delay the green up is called atrazine but that is a restricted use product that not anyone can buy without a uh, pesticides license so again we just want to be careful with these yards until they turn green at which point we come in here spray the weeds with a product like change up and fertilize it and i think it'll really take off all right the story on this yard was and this is what happens this is what happened with my bermuda yards what happened with the centipede yards is the centipede will be one of the first ones to green up early in the spring we get up some warm weather even in february on into march it's warm and the centipede starts turning green and so did my bermuda because it was cut pretty short and what happened we get a, a, a freeze late in march and all that that soft green plant tissue that's springing up is very susceptible to frost damage and it freezes and the yard just turns brown you know the same thing my bermuda yard did the same thing i was actually in the middle of a youtube video where i had five plots trying to figure out which one was going to green up fastest some of my fertilized some of my cut short some of my fertilized and cut short and i was like okay which one's going to green up the fastest and then it froze and they all turned brown and it basically and put an abrupt end to that video so same thing with this yard turn green and then it get a freeze turns brown but what the homeowner did is comes through and he cut it pretty low when cut it and again that grass starts bouncing back quickly so i would say if that happens to you go ahead and mow it one time let the sunlight get down start warming the roots and let the grass recover grass has an unbelievable ability to recover i'm not saying it's going to recover from everything i've seen some pretty bad yards that can bounce back in a short period of time let me show you a yard that can illustrate some of the points i was making about green up and grass types and height of the mowing and all that all right check out this yard now we've got thick emerald zoysia over here that is almost completely dormant i mean it's about 10 percent green now what's going on with that one is thick emerald zoysia i mean very thick probably three four inches tall so there's very little sunlight getting down to the roots now if you dig down in here you can actually see some green down in there but it's having a hard time so i need to get rid of all this dormant grass and let some sun get down in there but you see the bermuda is cut to the same height and so it's not that green either but this is bermuda zoysia so you see zoysia and you get up here and you got some bermuda it's still cut very high so it's not green up much but it's definitely a lot greener i would say it might be 40 percent green for this is about 10 percent green so certain grass types green up faster and certainly the mowing height is going to have a lot to do with how fast it greens up also another thing that's very frustrating about lawn care in the spring is that you are dealing with cool season weeds and warm season weeds at the same time so some of the weeds that you might have started to see back in october these cool season weeds they're still here in april and then some of the weeds that you're going to be dealing with until next october they're already showing up in the lawn in april maybe even march let me show you some examples look at this yard bermuda grass and look what is all over the place this shiny stuff is nut sedge and it's all in this yard and nut sedge is one of those weeds you think about as a summer weed you're gonna to have to deal with in the summer but it shows up in march oftentimes in my area at the same time you got poa annual which is a classic cool season weed that we deal with such a pain we just want it to go away when the weather gets hot but during spring you're dealing with the nut sedge as well as the poa annual at the same time and we talk about the infrequency of the mowing so let me show you an example of that look at this yard it looks pretty good from a distance but you when you get closer you can see it's actually a huge weed right here now if this yard was being mowed regularly that weed would not be nearly that large and honestly might even die after being mowed a 
couple of times but it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb now from a distance it looks fine you don't really see a whole lot but you can see a big weed there so when you mow a lot it just takes a lot of the pressure off of the weeds because mowing a lot really helps with the weed problem but again in the spring mowing is typically not that consistent more examples of the nut sedge just all through here nut sedge nut sedge nut sedge now this is on the outskirts of the lawn that hasn't been sprayed but I wanted to show you for point of reference so this is crabgrass so there's crabgrass already showing up at this stage in the springtime again you're still dealing with the cool season wheat right here inside the crabgrass you got onions it's probably been here since October maybe even before that wild onions wild garlic things like that which are cool season weeds right beside the crabgrass which is a warm season weed it looks like some kind of spotted spurs or something again a, a warm season weed is already showing up in the lawn so hopefully this video gave you some explanations of why lawn care can be frustrating so if you hired a lawn pro maybe be a little bit more understanding of what they're going through in the springtime on top of the spring is the time where they're getting so many calls for new customers that they have to run around and deal with that if you're doing your lawn yourself hey give yourself some grace it's tough out there sometimes sometimes people panic when they got a few weeds in the yard at a certain time and don't understand that it's just a really a temporary problem if you give it a little bit more time grass can recover even some ugly yards can be made beautiful and grass is great at recovering so don't just pull a panic button and do something crazy because of a little temporary problem you got to understand what's going on with the yard i'm jason creel if you hadn't done so please subscribe Go to LawnCareLife.com. I want to tell you about something that's over there, a couple things. One is the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy. If you want to get a weed control business in warm season grasses, I don't know of a better resource out there. The other is the 2024 Lawn Care Life Conference. This will be our fourth Lawn Care Life Conference we've done. Go to LawnCareLife.com. There's a link there with details and the speakers, lineup, dates, February 23rd, 24th of 2024 near Birmingham, Alabama. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.